Hey folks, well look what I found at 2nd and Charles. Here's the story. I went to 2nd and Charles yesterday, picked up a, Je a Sega Genesis game, a, uh, a Nintendo Zapper controller, and a Sega Genesis Turbo controller that was third party. Well that third party Genesis controller had a bad left button. I tried to fix it by cleaning the contacts and that didn't work. So I brought it back for the $7.50 that I paid for it. While I was there, I saw this in the camera case. It's a flip minnow HD. Uh, it's one of the ones that has a built-in battery and a and uh, no SD card slot or anything. It just has built-in 4 gigs of storage. Uh, but it was $30. And since I had to return uh, the other controller, that knocked down the price to like $23, $24. Sure. $22, I think, actually. Something like that. Like $22.50. Anyway, for a 720p camcorder that's this small, totally worth it. So I picked this thing up, and I'm thinking about using it for YouTube videos, depending on how good the footage is, how good the audio is, and the stability. Because using my phone for everything, uh, well, it's all right. It has its benefits, like the, uh, the built-in LED light. I like having dedicated devices for doing dedicated things a lot of the time. And having a dedicated little camera like this for simple videos would be great. Having a little camera like this, I can make use out of it. I'm not quite sure how, uh, but I know I can make use out of this, and I'm going to try to. So, the Flip Minnow HD. It records in 720p. Uh, it has 4 gigs of built-in storage and has a built-in battery. It does not have the double A's like a lot of other uh, flips do. You can replace the battery in these. You just have to dismantle it uh, to get to the battery. On the front here you have that lens, which I just cleaned off. And there you have a recording LED, and you have... I think the microphone's in there, too. On the front you have a screen, which is actually a pretty darn good screen. Uh, and you have a speaker, like, around here somewhere, I think. You have capacitive touch buttons. You have, like, play, plus, minus left, right, record button, and that's a regular button, and you have the trash can button for deleting stuff. The interface is pretty simple. This thing had a charge when I pulled it out of the shop. There you go. As you can see, it works great, even though it doesn't have much of a charge on it. I took some test footage already, which, you know, you hit that button to get to it. Okay, here's the real test. How does it do indoors with this kind of... And there you go. Uh, and you can go through each of the videos. These are videos I took earlier that you'll see in a minute. Yeah, it's a pretty simple interface, and then you just can hit delete to delete videos. There's nothing to this interface. It's so darn easy to use. It's fantastic. This would be a great camera to take on vacation, just to, you know, pop out and film something silly. Uh, then again, this type of camera has been made obsolete by phones. I'm recording this, the footage of, with, of this camera right now with a phone, so... You know. Yeah, it's a very simple camera to use, so this will be nice for uh, video projects, certain video projects. The main reason I got this is because it has a tripod mount on the bottom, and that will be useful for, vi for videos that I do here uh, with computers and stuff, because I can stick this on a tripod, not have to use a mini DV camera to do that, and film videos. It'll be great for uh, the videos on the, my Luke Talks channel. Uh, I'll definitely be using this camera for that. Uh, so it'll it'll come in very handy for YouTube stuff, uh, which is the reason I got it in the first place. Okay, here we are at my computer. And I'm going to plug the camera into it. Now, these flip cameras are famous for having this USB thing that flips out when you flip the uh, switch down there. So what sucks about this is that it's not like a flexible cable. It's, you know, it's pretty rigid. So... Plugging it into a port isn't exactly a great idea, so I'm going to plug it into this USB hub instead. So let me do that. There we go, it's plugged in. And it's charging as well, which it really needs badly, so works for me. Go away, AC adapter, you're in the way. And it sees flip video here on your desktop. So let me open that up. So you, it allows you to install FlipShare as well so yeah you can use that or you can just go straight into the camera folder go to 100 video and there are your videos 
there you go. There's a preview there. Wow, it actually looks pretty good. I'm surprised. You'll see this in a minute. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look half bad. So, so you can just deal with this stuff manually, which is exact, exactly what I want to do. It even has the Start Flip Share app for Mac on there. Flip Share is something I never plan to use. <laughs> I just plan to take the files off and, you know, put them in various folders. I don't know if uh, Windows will let me do that. I wonder if I can... Uh... No, you just have to open it and go and copy the files manually. That's alright. I can just leave it in and uh, drag them into my editing program and just use them straight off of the flip itself. So I'm cool with that. Let's try that. Let's open up Windows Live Movie Maker. Yes, this is what I used to edit, guys. I'm that unsophisticated that I have to use this. So I guess I can take those and just drag them in here. Yep. I can just use them straight off the flip, no problem. That works for me. Cool. So that's an easy edit job. You can just go on there and drag the files around. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle. So now I will uh, put this video together along with the test footage and uh, be on my way. So cool. This is a test recording just out of Second Charles, where I got this flip camera. Seems like a pretty nice camera. It still has a battery charge, which I'm very surprised of. Cool stuff, man. It has a little recording light as well. I'll have to do some more tests with this when I get back. But it looks pretty cool so far. I've never had a flip camera, and I've always wanted to try one, so I decided to come get one. I just saw this here and thought it was great. Let's try the digital zoom. Hold the button down. You have to like, oh, you have to hold it down. There we go. Second and Charles. We zoom it out. The digital zoom is pretty low, but that's all right. All right. All right. Start the car. I have a lot of miles on this thing already. <laughs> Maybe not much, but feels like it hasn't been that long. Anyway, I think it's time to test this out more when I get back. Alright, I'm back home now. Some outdoor footage. Seems to work pretty well. Nice day out today. So, what do I think of this flip camera so far? I'm not going to know until I put this footage on my computer. But I really, really like the portability. The only thing I'm really worried about is stabilization. So if I shake the camera like this, it's the, the there's probably not going to be much stabilization built into this, if any at all. So I have a feeling that it being a handheld camera, there might be like crazy stability going on, uh, or jerkiness, that's the word I'm looking for. It is a CMOS image sensor too, so who knows about motion blur, but the color on this tiny screen, it looks alright. But again, I'm not going to be able to tell until I look at it on a computer because it looks pretty, the, this LCD screen, well it's a pretty nice LCD screen, it's not, you know, incredible. So, we'll find out. Let's go take some indoor footage. Okay, here's the real test. How does it do indoors with this kind of lighting? Seems to adjust pretty well. This Tanberg uh, cassette deck seems to light up pretty well. I normally film videos right here on this spot of floor, so it shouldn't be a problem for that if I were to use it for that. So I could put the zapper here and, you know, talk about it. Flip it over, and there you go. I could see using this for uh, simple YouTube videos. Uh, it's a pretty nice camera. Uh, it's not exactly what I'm looking for in a camera, but you know what? For $30, this is totally worth it, I think. I hope the battery's good. Uh, it doesn't have much charge left, so I've been testing it now. 
But let's see what it's like in low light. There's a messy spot over here that has pretty much no light at all. Here's my stack of old computers. I can see it on the screen pretty well. I don't know how well to turn out in the video. It's dark, but I can see it, you know. Wow, huge difference there. So, there you go, there's your test. Right. Well, we'll see how the footage turns out on a computer. And if I like it, I'll probably use this camera for uh, YouTube videos every once in a while or even regularly. Uh, I guess it will really depend, but hey, $30 for a little pocket camera like this, I think that's a, I think it's great. I could definitely make use out of this, so that definitely wasn't wasted either way. I, uh, I, it, was, it cost $30, but uh, I knocked a little off the price because I returned a dead controller. So this basically cost me $23, and I just couldn't say no to that for a 720p flash-based camcorder. That's this small, so cool stuff. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean this off, you know, with like uh, some cleaner just to get the old the old finger salsa off, and then that'll be good. So maybe this camera will be useful for uh, YouTube videos. Uh, I guarantee you it will be, but uh, I haven't seen the footage on the computer yet. And uh, yeah, well, there you go. That's the test of this camcorder. So after watching the test footage, uh, it looks a lot like some other videos I've seen on YouTube where uh, they use flips and the microphone isn't that great. Uh, my overall impression of this camera is it's alright, you know, it's not amazing. It, it'll get the job done. Uh, I wish the microphone was a little bit louder and had some more fullness to it, but uh, as long it it's actually not that bad when you point the camera at, when I point the camera at myself, you can hear the uh, the sound gets much better. So for things like the U the Luke Talks channel where I'm talking to the camera, it should be fine. Um, for videos where I'm behind the camera, it's going to be quiet. Um, I've seen some of B Bishop PCM's videos where he uses a camera like this that has the same sort of microphone. Uh, the video quality, yeah, the video quality is uh, is average, I'd say. Uh, the 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 jerkiness and the lack of uh, any like image stabilization uh, is pretty apparent, though. So, it's a much better camera to use on a tripod. Uh, but, you know, I'd say this was definitely worth the, 23, the 22 or $23 I paid for it. Uh, so, overall, I'm happy with it. It's, I wouldn't pay all that much for one of these, uh, which I didn't. Uh, these were definitely not worth the price they were when they were new, in my opinion. So, used, yeah, I can deal with this. I can make some use out of this, so overall, I'm happy with what I paid for it. So, cool stuff. Uh, you might see me using this for certain video projects uh, in the future. So, there you go, guys. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.